I'm Ozzy Griffin and this is both a uh, post for the sexual futurist and as a response to a video on uh, courtesy of my channel uh, to sexual assault on college campus. This video is an example of why we had the Google Hangout debate of is feminism still relevant and why a lot of women will not identify, will be all for women's rights and not identify as feminism. Uh, as feminists. Quite simply, they're embarrassed. This video put out these shocking, awful statistics, and when I looked into them, and you can see my comments in the um, comments section, uh, n almost a, a lot of them were untrue. Now, a lot of bad press was generated by feminism, feminists doing this. Uh, Ms. Magazine famously commissioned a study uh, or a survey of college women and they came up with a shocking statistic. One in four women will be raped on a college campus. Whoa! And it, it, it did a lot for, you know, revising campus safety. And don't get me wrong, I have no compassion for people who rape up, uh, somebody on a college campus or just because they got blitzed at a party, male or female. I have got no compassion. However, what was reported by Ms. Magazine as rape included uh, sleeping with someone and regretting it. Well, I'm sorry, using loose wording like that can include uh, every guy who's ever uh, woken up beside a woman in the morning after a heavy night of drinking and debated gnawing his own arm off so he doesn't have to uh, promise to give... Give her his phone number. It's just... Uh, the video is full of it. And this is... This is probably... And this this was... The low-hanging fruit was all gone. Like, colleges, you know, had... Pretty good human rights uh, sections. You know, including... Especially for women. Uh, you know... By the late 70s... Early to mid 80s. The, don't ask me for my sources on that, that's just from my own anecdotal experience. Uh, when it came to the documentary uh, Lefties, Angry Women, as done by the BBC, they documented how attitudes changed. Yet, funnily enough, it was when the only things left to debate in the first world that were creating an atmosphere of sexism included the media and the power structure of the government, that was when a mysterious amount of money was dropped between a whole bunch of feminist uh, ideologies and factions and suddenly everyone was too distracted about debating how to spend the money in an ideologically correct way then to go back to their shoestring budget analysis deconstruction of media and activism probably just a coincidence though nothing to worry about I'm Ozzy Griffin and this is a post to the sexual futurist